What's up runners, Coach Morgan here from the Run Experience this week, bringing you another Workout Wednesday. Did you know that running is technically a single leg sport? Well, today we are gonna get into working out all those little muscles that help stabilize us and make us a stronger, more powerful runner. Let's get into it. All right, so the first workout on tap today is going to be toe taps. I have a ball down here. You can use any like, low plank or anything like that that you want, but I like the ball because it is going to move a little bit, which gives me a little bit of extra agility in there. So the goal is we're gonna be here for two minutes. We're gonna try to go as quick as we can, bringing the toes up and tapping the ball, moving that upper body as well too. And every couple of seconds or so, we're gonna turn around and try to move in the other direction. This is gonna be bringing that heart rate up. We're working on some agility, a little bit of nimbleness in the feet there, so give it a shot. For this next workout, you will find yourself a ball. I have a lacrosse ball here or just something that you can toss back and forth. Doesn't have to be something super heavy. We are going to be practicing that single leggedness here. So I am gonna find balance on, I'm gonna start with my left foot leg here. I'm gonna think about spreading out my toes, creating a nice base, having a slight bend in my knee and really squeezing those glutes, turning them on, making sure that I'm not dipping down. See how my hips are pretty level here. I don't have one down for the other. And once I find my balance here, I'm gonna take the ball and I'm gonna practice tossing it back and forth. You're gonna be here for one minute. You can try to get a little higher with it. Ooh, mess around, maybe like whoo, behind the back, anything like that, just play with it. This is really gonna be focusing on that hip stability, which is super, super important for that propulsion push-off phase when we run. So for this next workout, we are gonna be working on some anti-rotation and more hip stability. For this, you're going to need a band. If you don't have one, that's okay, but you are not going to get the benefits of the anti-rotation. So I'm gonna use my partner, Nate, over here. Otherwise, you could tie this around um, a bench, anything like that. All right. He's gonna hold that pretty tight here. I'm gonna keep my hands out straight in front of me and I'm going to step back into a reverse lunge all while keeping my hands out in front of me. We're gonna have a little bit of tension on here. So I'm gonna to wanna to tend to fall in towards Nate, but I'm gonna keep that nice and straight. So I'm really working my obliques here as well too. That's super important, especially once again, core is super important because when we start to get tired, we're gonna wanna like move around like this. This is gonna keep all of our momentum going forward rather than side to side. So you're gonna lose me a little bit here, but as you can see, nice and straight out in front of me and I'm going to step back into that lunge. Also, my knee is gonna to wanna to tend to fall in. I'm gonna to wanna to focus on pushing my knees out to the side like I would in a squat and coming back up, pushing that knee back out and coming back up really focusing on that tension in the upper body and being nice and fluid here. So you have those for one minute. I'm not giving you guys um, a specific number to reach for today because I know these are tough. So kind of shake it out if you need to and move on. And just when you thought the workout was over, we're gonna throw in a little bit of core because that never hurt anybody. Core is also super important for at the end of our runs when we're getting tired and we're starting to hunch over, that's what's gonna keep us up nice and tall. So we are gonna start in a face down plank position. We are going to be on our elbows here, feet together, and we are going to squeeze that butt, making sure we have a nice line from our head all the way down to our tailbone. For this, you're gonna do five leg lifts on each leg, nice and slow and controlled without dropping those hips five on each side. Then from here, you're gonna immediately flip over onto your side. You're gonna hold here, find your position. Once again, we want a nice straight line from the head all the way down, so we don't wanna be bending forward like this. Should be nice and tall, pressing those hips forward. And we're gonna do five leg lifts here, nice and slow and controlled here. We wanna make sure that we're not dropping our hips when we do this, keep them pushing up to the side. And then you're gonna flip over, real ninja quick like that. And you're gonna go onto this side, same thing. Five here. And you're gonna go through that three times. All right, so for the details of your workout today, you're gonna go through three rounds of first two minutes of the toe taps on the ball. You are gonna do one minute on each leg, tossing the ball back and forth. So that's two minutes there. Then you're gonna have one minute on each side with the reverse lunges and holding your arms out in front. So that's another two minutes there. 
you'll take one minute of rest in between each. Then after the three rounds, you'll have three minutes before you go onto your core work. You're gonna do once again, you're gonna start uh, face down for your plank. You're gonna do five leg raises on each leg, then quickly move into your side plank, five leg raises, other side plank, five leg raises there, and you're gonna go through that three rounds, no rest in between. Good luck, guys. Thanks for following along with me today for another Workout Wednesday. If you're looking for more interactive workouts on run strength, mobility, you name it, you should download our app. The link is in, down in the description below. You can follow along with me in there and lots more workouts. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and drop any comments that you have down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And as always, subscribe to our channel so you get these to your inbox each and every week. I'll catch you guys in the next one. For this next one, you will have to find yourself a ball or a lacrosse ball. I, oh, not, or, this is lacrosse ball. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>